Hi you guys, welcome! My name's Megan, or you can call me Mello with two W's. And today we're going to talk about how to shake off those winter blues and spring forward into the new season. Like I said, some of the things I bring to the table, um, I'm a neuromuscular massage therapist, so if we break that down a little bit, it sounds a little weird, but neuromuscular, so neuro having to do with nerves in the brain, and muscular obviously having to do with muscles. And um, yeah, so just to kind of break down neuromuscular therapy, the way I describe it to people is um, I help people reconnect their brain and their body because sometimes through pain or through traumatic experiences we lose that connection and then healing can become impaired because of that. I have ADHD, it is one of my superpowers and I will definitely go into just lifestyle and stuff like that if you're interested later on. I'm very, very passionate about teaching people about their own body and about their health because if they don't know how to take care of themselves, if you don't know how to take care of yourself, how are you supposed to do it? So I have some tools, I have some information that I think would be helpful to the everyday person, you know, that's not too crazy, it's not too um, unreasonable. Another thing I bring to the table is I don't have my life together, just like you. I'm trying to figure it out every single day, you know, the struggles, the, you know, procrastination, the laziness, the happy times, the triumphs, the creativity, it's all there and I'm really hoping to be able to show you guys that, you know, with no filter no. editing, just really raw. I really want to show you guys, um, you know, you can live a happy, beautiful life and also get angry and also be very, you know, upset or blow up or whatever. Just as long as you can learn to find the balance within, slowly you'll see that the variations off the center of your course, the center of your happiness, will become less and less. So yeah, enough about me and all that, and uh, let's move into what we're going to be talking about. <laughs> so, so with the background that I have in massage therapy, I also have learned uh, just a bit about uh, traditional Chinese medicine and uh, its holistic benefits uh, for helping heal the mind and the body and how we can use nature to our advantage. So, uh, as you guys know, winter just ended and um, a lot of us are very happy because of this. You know, we had a very huge rainy season here in California, which is so incredible because of the drought that we have been in. And um, yeah, so let's talk about winter for a little bit. Winter is a time that is known as yin, like yin and yang. So yin is a very, you know, inward, dark, and darker and slower force, you know, um, yin energy, this inward energy, this very like draw back. Um, winter is a great time for meditation, for, um, you know, reflection and for surrender. Winter is a time where we need to store, you know, all the energy up. It's a time for rest so that the energy in our body and in our mind has a time to recuperate throughout the year. This is the time of the year where we need to hibernate, if you will. In winter time, towards the middle and the end, we get a little restless with not being able to be outside as often, you know, getting stir crazy and all that stuff. And what you're feeling inside of you is really that energy just being stored and stored and stored. And it's a really, really great tool when you're aware of it. When you're not aware of it, it can just feel like, oh my God, I want winter to be over. Or I want to be able to go outside in the sun and, and I'm tired of this rain and can't I do things? Why do I feel so lazy? Once you understand about the true nature of winter, it's a really great thing. So like in winter, I love being lazy. I love you know, curling up in my bed and just not getting out for hours. I love just thinking and thinking and thinking in my own head and really just not giving a fuck about the rest of the world, really. Honestly, that's what winter is about for me. I just, I have to shut off and I have to, you know, say goodbye to everybody and just be like, you know what, this is my time. 
and it's really really important for me to gather this energy up so that I can manifest it into other things as the seasons change. Oh yeah, winter is a really 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 great time for massage, so like go book you know an hour or maybe longer massage of just really relaxation so that you you know you just have time to lay there and kind of build up that energy during the session. You know, same with acupuncture, chiropractic, those are really really great things to get done consistently throughout the winter. And uh, you know, take care of yourself. Do things that you love to do. Really feel okay about being lazy. Feel okay about you know, not wanting to see anybody or not wanting to get anything done. It's okay. Winter is a time for that. Winter is your time to store energy, okay? Where does that leave us when spring comes? Spring we love spring. I didn't realize how much I love spring until I saw it this winter, or this spring, right after this winter, because the whole winter time it was very, very rainy up here, very, very cold up here in the Sierra foothills, which is fine. I love winter. It's, it's totally my vibe. Um, but this year I was really ready for it to be over, you know, that, that energy had really built up inside me and I was ready to explode. So spring is here and, and it's gorgeous the the flowers the trees the colors the the pollen the bees the my puppies are happier you know spring can kind of hit you like a train though right after winter where you're being very you know reserved and relaxed and then all of a sudden bam springs here yeah daylight savings i hate daylight savings i really do um after I graduated high school here in California and moved to Hawaii, uh, Hawaii is one of those states that um, opts out of daylight savings and so I feel like even though I lived there for three years and I've been back for three years, I still feel like I haven't fully, you know, yeah, daylight savings. Don't like it, don't need it, and it really fucks me up. Especially this one, the one where we spring forward, that one, when we lose an hour. I just feel like I'm. it takes me a good two to three weeks to really get out of that hour. You know, I keep waking up an hour later every time and I'm like, Ugh, this is not, not really, I'm waking up at the same time, you know. Anyways, so yeah, daylight savings hits you, you know, warmer weather, social gatherings and all of that. Um, it can be a lot, you know. It's a really, really good idea to ease into spring and to take it very, very slowly because letting yourself be too outward and too social and too talkative when um, you've spent all of this time being inward, sometimes, uh, you know, different things can happen. Immediately start to go to social gatherings and talk to people about my feelings and all that. I really feel like I lost all the work that I did. I've done this multiple times, um, just tried to be very silent and very inward and then immediately like after that was done just like poof, out of the gates, cool I'm gonna be social now. And I really just feel like it makes me lose all of that work and I don't feel heard, you know, even if the person is listening to me I just don't feel heard because I'm frantic and I'm not really getting across the true essence of my emotion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good to start getting creative, you know. I'm creative all year, but I'm really finding as soon as the spring came, more of my ideas and more of my projects, <laughs> excuse me, more of my projects have come to fruition and have um, really just, I've been able to sit them out and, and uh, see them to the end, you know. And uh, having ADHD is a very difficult thing for me to do is to see things all the way to the end. You know, I'm great at starting things. I can start a million different things. Uh, as soon as it comes to the finish line, I'm out of there. So spring is a really great time to practice and use the energy that you've built up over the winter to put that into a creative and determined mindset, you know? It's a good time to start projects. It's a really good time to you know, start challenges that you um, have been putting off until later. Um, like for me, you know, obviously exercising more, getting the, that dopamine and serotonin pumping through the brain, pumping throughout the body so that you really do feel this inward ability to move forward and move on from the winter. 
it's a really great time also to just you know focus on your emotional and spiritual intelligence and find yourself in 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 the ways that you've been wanting to throughout the winter the winter you were probably you know brewing in your head about you know different possibilities or different projects or you know maybe relationships you have with people but once all of that energy gets built up, you, you have to put it into action, you know. So spring is that time to really just take the energy from the winter and move it into action. So spring is a really great time for letting go, obviously. You've heard of spring cleaning and all of that. So cleaning up your house in a way that makes you feel happy and safe and comfortable and clean. But, uh, you know, go through the stuff that you have. Make a smart decision, you know. Is this something that really brings me joy or is it not and if it's not you just got to get rid of it because that is literal energy each item that you own is literal energy that could be bringing you in one direction or the other and it's important that you know all of the items that you have and just the way that each of those items make you feel and um, you know just as much as you as you collect people to be a part of your tribe you need to collect your items and your things to be a part of that community as well. And so it's a really good time, you know, just to clean up and to get rid of shit you don't need. That's what I've been doing. I have been getting rid of so much shit, and I still got shit to get rid of. With the theme of letting go, it's also a really, really good time to let go of stimulants. And, uh, because spring is kind of a natural stimulant on its own, like you already have all this energy that you've built up from the winter, and it's like ready for action and then if you add that stimulant on top of it what I find is that like stimulants they're providing this false energy for you and so as soon as you are as soon as you become dependent on the stimulant then once you don't have it the energy is not there you can't get it without it so use the earth use spring as your natural coffee or your natural you know tobacco or your Whatever, just use it as a natural stimulant so that you can pursue your creative endeavors. Is a, spring is a time that you really should face everything head on. In winter, it's better to kind of pull back and, you know, retreat and find your truth before you act. And since you've had all of that time, and really your body naturally does this anyways because of the season change, um, Spring is a great time to just face everything, you know, that obstacles that come in your way, um, you know, face them head on, climb over the obstacle, move it out of your way if it's not beneficial. It's really about action, <laughs> it's kind of where I'm going with that one. So um, yeah, both of this, well, all of the seasons really, um, in traditional Chinese medicine have emotions that are connected with them. And so for winter, the emotion is spring, or fuck, the emotion is spring, yeah, mm -hmm. that was it. The emotion is fear. And the reason why fear is very beneficial to you and to pay attention to this emotion is when fear is in a positive aspect, it makes you more alert, it, um, you know, it, it moves and directs you and, and, um, just guides you forward, you know, and it, it allows you to remain aware of different aspects of your life if you have that little bit of fear in there, you know? Take it too far, fear turns into anxiety, and then you, you know, become afraid of everything, and, and then it becomes impossible to kind of think about even mundane tasks or everyday things because you're so worried about, you know, the next thing, and then as soon as you start thinking about that worry, it manifests into a bigger worry and it's just this chain reaction of worry and fear and anxiety and I have done it and I don't like being there so really use you know fear as a as a positive in the winter or in any time of the year when you feel anxiety you know really notice hey I think this is fear should I be more alert about something is there something I'm not aware of? Is there something that I'm missing? You know? Use it as a tool instead of like, oh my god, no! Fear! It's so scary! I can't have this! And then you like create this anxiety anyways. So, embrace it. Spring. Spring uh, emotion 
there's different aspects. Uh, so anger is the emotion that is associated with spring. And you're thinking, anger, spring is so happy, what the heck? But uh, yeah, so anger. So in, so in the negative, obviously you guys know what negative anger is, is, is you know, people wanting to fight or yell negative. or be condescending or whatever. Anger. Rah. But um, anger can be positive too. I first learned this from um, my teacher, um, Heather Lee, in um, massage school when we were learning traditional Chinese medicine. And I will always remember this and I love it because it really gives me a new perspective. Think about a weed, how it grows out of a crack of a sidewalk. Like how the hell does that little tiny, you know, you could break it with your fingernails piece of plant, make it through something so firm and so strong and that's anger. That is the will to become something like, I will not stop until this happens. And that can be both positive and negative. It can really have some great benefits. Use it. Use anger in, in spring. Like, I want to, you know, nail my forearm stand. Or I want to finish this project I've been talking about forever. Or I really just want, you know, you want something. So, use that anger to really drive your creativity and really drive your willpower forward. Other positive things that can come from spring are compassion, patience, and honesty. Um, it's a time where people have been able to reflect on themselves, so now they feel as though they're able to speak their truth to other people. The social aspect of humans are starting to come back together, so they also feel you know, more trusting and compassionate towards others. They're out of their own little head from the winter, so it is easier to be compassionate towards others. Spring in the negative can be that anger, like I explained earlier, also just frustration and bitterness and irritability. If you don't use the energy that's built up in the winter, just like you were in the winter when you were waiting for spring and I'm ready for it, if you don't use it while spring is happening, the same things are gonna happen to you. You're gonna have this stored up energy, this heat, this fire inside, and you're gonna blow up on people, you know? Also, if you didn't spend time in winter really reflecting on yourself, you may not be able to have the tools to, you know, understand certain things and to be able to communicate with people the way that you want to. So just have patience, it's okay. And, you know, I'm not freaking perfect either. I don't, like, walk around all winter, like, perfectly meditating for, you know, a couple months and then come out like, la-da-da, -da, I have all these projects. It's, it's a struggle and it's a challenge. And that's the beauty of it, is just finding the balance of the horrible and the magnificent and really just playing with both. And, um, yeah, so... Just a little summary, you know, winter is um, fear emotion, it is yin energy, and inward energy, and then spring is, you know, compassion, and the positive virtue of anger, which is the will to become. Um, it is very yang energy, so very outward and expansive, and bright. And yeah, just a little advice before we leave today. Use the energy that you stored from winter to propel your creativity and determination forward. Use it, you know? Clean up, shake it off, shake off those cobwebs, and spring forward. Thanks, guys.